Hello everyone, Dylan from Bill Days here with another Lego Star Wars review, but also, but actually my first of the older Star Wars sets, but first from the first year of it, 1999, in honor of the 20th anniversary of it. So, starting out with the two first sets ever, which being the lightsaber duel and the lance beer. So, sorry I'm not going to show the boxes or anything, because bought them used on Bricklink and everything. So let me show the booklets individually. This lightsaber rule, set number 7101, and also, which makes it the first set ever. And there's the old time border when they used system on it until 99, of course. And also the Star Wars logo, which differs from the two themes, original trilogy and 99, and episode 1, as you can see there. And on the back of each booklet is just it broken up and also crazy alternate build, which they used to do all the time until around uh, mid 2000s, of course. They the last film exception, and that's it. And also, an interesting thing with these early booklets is when it shows make the minifigures, it lists off the names of the minifigures. Kind of cool, which they don't do anymore or anything. Whereas last week was one a little bit more interesting, with as you can see, but it's the original trilogy version of it, which they also used on the 10th anniversary ones in 2009, but on the back of which, also alternate build, but also some little scenes that made from the minifix in this, and don't know if you can make it out on camera, but some little snippets from the movies, which they used to do a lot in these early sets, and there's the last building set, so good. And what else is there to say? Not much. But... So, first of all, there's the mini kits included in each one. The first of which is Qui-Gon Jinn. Well, the very first version of so this one, they were still using yellow mini figures until 2005, as you see. Well, this Twion Jin is also common in some of the other 1999 sets. But hairpiece still used to this day, and they use also the chrome lightsabers, which they used until 2006. So then 2007 or 8, when they went over to the gray and then regular silver one. But not any more chrome. So, move it. No back head print, which is common for older ones. And no back torso print, which is also common in the older mini things. So that is it. And the next one of which is Darth Maul. Also seen in the Synth Infiltrator set from also in 99. And interesting enough that this will carry on until the uh, Magnet set in 09. So it'll carry on for 10 years, which is kind of crazy. And as you see, it does have the lightsaber, but it's not the double ended one, which will also be in the Synth Infiltrator set. And if I release that so you can get a better view of the face. Uh, focus. There we go. But also, but also, unfortunately, no back printing to it, which is common of older main figures. And, and this is also when the capes were the like thick material, and probably was until much later when they did actual cloth pieces for the capes. And then next up for the mini figs in the Lancebeer set is the very first Luke Skywalker mini fig, which was also used in the 2003 Cantina set and also used in some DK book. Being quite accurate to the films is, but no back printing, and also no back end printing, which is common of older mini figures. But at least they got a little bit better and better over time. And that is about it with him. And lastly is Ben Kenobi, but the first version of which. 
like I've seen a torso print, uh, kind of all right, or a little animated, and released until the much later versions, and the face print also kind of like the same, also the chrome lightsaber, but with a blue hill coloring to it. And that is about it. Okay. Now to the builds themselves. First of all, for lightsaber duel, is get this little speeder thing, my thing, which is also seen in the Sith infiltrator set, like with no changes whatsoever, which is a common trend, like it did sometimes. So, as you got this like reverse slope on the back, and also. Some old piece which is not seen very much in older set, but this piece of which truly is in like classic space and all. And you can like sit to Darth Maul on there, although kind of affects the cape a bit. So you can like lie around on Tatooine and all. And I guess that's about it with that. And also with the main build of which is this, uh, a moisture evaporator on a tan plate re representing the sands of Tatooine along with some antenna pieces all around and as you see it's mostly bricks but later on they used circular bricks and got a lot of them like uh, knob pieces on all sides but also these ladder-ish pieces in like brown and gray and so looking asymmetric on both sides so quite basic, but at least they got a little better and better over time. And yeah, that's about it with that. And and lastly, for the lance beater, I would and think that for all these earlier sets, they would have kind of poor renditions of the ships, but not a lot of them are. But this is actually a pretty good representation of it. So, like, for the engines of which, which have some kind of snot like techniques to them, like it's on the sides. So, I guess that's kind of where snot was being introduced. But on the top, also a little similar. Like, some nice. Uh, little engine pieces. Weren't they ever reused in any other sets? Uh, maybe. They probably were. But also for the seating area, which is not enough for the droids to sit in. Because in the scene in A New Hope, they did seat the droids in them. But time will slot to fit Ben Kenobi's lightsaber into it. And also have the two seats that are of which put on these two jumpers. So they did think of using jumpers back then, which probably carried on into today's LEGO designs. Get that on there we go. And enough space to see to both Luke and Ben Kenobi in like the other version. windshield piece which used from other car sets but some good rounding techniques with the like with the like curved plates whoops like as you can see and also the macaroni ones and all and you wonder what is this something supposed to be there well yeah it kind of is, just like on the other versions, which kind of seems to be. It's like, and now into a little comparison. Like, here's the most recent 2017 version. I see quite a lot smaller than, and also a lot more simple than this version. You can see much better grebling detailing than this one. And same thing as that. That's so, a little bit more space and also lever piece to store things in, and also extra storage to store some gear in, which that one barely does. But at least good to see some change in that, since you know stuff gets better and better over time, like in many cases. 
And it's now on to with the final verdict. So overall, I think these are pretty good cheap sets from 1999. So like, as the of which a quite good and squishable and for a cheap price at the time. And also a uh, lightsaber duel, a good way to get both Qui-Gon and Darth Maul, which was a big scene in Phantom Menace. And well, and if you're a large Lego like Star Wars fan, and if you're looking to get some originals to add to your collection, then go ahead and pick these up. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.